Shalom, this is Todd ShopRite and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me. Amen. My thought and message comes from the book of Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 reads, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you for this message. I thank you for this time. I ask, Lord, that you would bless this small little message, that this message would get out and bless the people. Bless those people that are going through trials and tribulations. Lift them up, Lord, out of the miry clay and let them know that you are the living God and you give victory. In the name of your son, Yeshua HaMashiach, we pray, amen. Paul was in prison. He was a prisoner for the Lord. He went out and he preached the gospel and he made many friends and he also made many enemies. The things he spoke and he preached, he, he preached from the word of God to prove and to seal the fact that Yeshua is the Messiah. But a lot of the politicians and the religious leaders fought him and they did not agree with him. They looked at him as a traitor. They looked at him as a criminal and they wanted him killed. You know, when I gave my life to Yeshua, my life was never the same. I want to tell everybody what, what God did for me. I was very young back then, but I was also naive. I needed, I needed to mature in the Lord. I would go to anyone that would listen, any, anywhere, any place. And I had some people that listened, and then there was, there were some that said some very not so nice things. But as I got older, I learned about the power of the Holy Spirit. And when I received the Holy Spirit, the baptism of the Holy Spirit in fire, I'm speaking in other tongues, I had an amazing change in my life. Amen. I started to learn about discernment. I started to learn about knowing what to say and not what to say. God gave me wisdom and God gave me sound counsel advice through His Word. And you know what? That's what the Apostle Paul went through. When he received the Holy Spirit, he had the power. And that's why Paul said, according to the power that works in us, not our power. There's no way I could have done this video and message if it wasn't for the power of God through the Holy Spirit. You wouldn't even get me on a YouTube channel to do this. Amen? But when you have such a love and a hunger for God, and you have a love for people, God will give you that ability to do the impossible. Amen. The word exceedingly abundantly in the Greek means per isos, per isos. It means in the sense of beyond, superabundant, superior, very highly, and beyond measure. In other words, Paul was saying, now to him that is able to bless you from the sense of beyond, to bless you super abundantly, to give you blessings beyond measure, and that power that comes from on high. That's what Paul was saying. Paul could have folded up his hands and said, you know what, I'm in prison. I might as well just give in to the Roman government. I might as well just recant and stop preaching the gospel, but he didn't. You know why? Because God gave him a second chance. God gave him a second chance when he was on the road to Damascus. He got knocked off that horse and Yeshua, Jesus said to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? It's important that we pray for our leaders, Democrat and Republican. It's important that we pray for the news media that brings out corrupted stories, even stories that are not factual. You know, the. The uh, Constitution talks about freedom of speech, freedom of the press, and I agree with that. We are to have freedom of speech, but we are not to have the freedom to destroy other people's lives, to belittle them, to lie just to get our political agenda to be blown, to be blown and lifted up. Our job as the press, as, the, as we the people, and people who love freedom of speech is to do freedom of speech in an orderly way. 
a peaceful way, not a violent way. When we do it in a violent way, then that's when Satan can come in and kill, steal, and destroy. Satan comes in many faces and disguises, and he even can come as an angel of light to masquerade and to mimic and to trick us and to lie and deceive us. And the only way we can overcome his lies is that we have to trust in the living God who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we ask or think. All that we ask or we think. Yeshua said, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. If we want to know who the living God is, <clears throat> if we want to know his agenda, we have to ask, we have to seek, we have to knock. We have to get on our knees and pray. Sometimes we're going to have to fast or push a meal away. We have to pray for our nation because if we rely on other people to do it for us, nine times out of ten, they won't do it for us. There's something about the power of prayer and praise and worship where people have breakthroughs in their lives. Do you want to have a breakthrough in your life? Do you want to live triumphantly in your life? Do you want to stop going to bed at night, tossing and turning, tossing and turning, feeling tormented, feeling trotted down, feeling like you don't make a difference? Well, I got, I got the answer for you. And that is, let God bless you exceedingly and abundantly above all that you can either ask or even think according to the power, that is the Holy Spirit, to work in you. Amen. When you have the Holy Spirit in you and working in you and leading you and guiding you, you don't have to live in fear anymore. Fear melts away. You don't have to have anxiety, worry, or torment, or pop a pill just to calm yourself down. You have the Holy Spirit. You have the God of Israel on your side. You have Yeshua, the captain of the host, who has an army of angels ready to fight your battles. Amen. Thank you for watching my channel. And whenever you get a chance, please subscribe and click the like button. And um, I ask you to pray for my YouTube channel so that I can continue to keep sharing and preaching the Word of God to others that are out there. Pray for our nation. Pray for our politicians. Pray for the news media. Um, fast. Pray. Get together with groups of other people to pray. There's something about when you get the more people together to pray, the better. The more, the more power there is. Because Yeshua said, where two or three are gathered together, so I'm in the mess. So thank you for stopping by and, and listening to this message. And as always, in times of turmoil, in times of darkness, when we need hope, when we need joy, when we need to be told that life is worth living, when we need to be told that Yeshua is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, blow that trumpet in Zion. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Amen.